the wedding of Jeff and Ramsey took place right here. You were witnessing, and now it's time for fun. But I'm too bold to dance with anyone. So it's up to you to cheer, to laugh. Have a remind me. I'll be near. I'll think of you as you play and have fun. And I love you all. But most of all, I love these two kids, Jeff and Ramsey. So let's cheer them. We were standing all in the corner Say let's go to Barcelona You and me, you and me Ramsey, it, it is surreal to be standing here today to join our lives in marriage after a lifetime of knowing you. I remember the tomboy who ran circles around everybody on the playground who showed up at my doorstep to beg me to come ride bikes as a kid and the woman I ditched college classes with to go and party. It's just a practice, you see? It's amazing that the girl I had a childhood crush on is now the woman I'm marrying today. Though we've traveled different paths, the universe always brings us back together. For that, I am truly grateful. I get to marry my best friend. I love your fierce independence your wild spirit, and your sense of adventure. Your energy, radiance, and open-hearted uh, spirit light up my life. You've helped me to step outside of my comfort zone, trust myself, and grow in ways that I never imagined I could. Sorry, getting a little tearful, guys. You're my kind of weird. <laughs> and I cherish every moment we're together. I commit to embracing life's challenges with you, loving you for who you are and supporting your needs. I commit to laughing with you every day, to finding joy in every moment, and to living life with you one day at a time. I commit to never going to bed angry, to being an advocate for your bigger future, and to supporting your sobriety. I am so excited to call you my wife and can't wait to remind you every day of how lucky we are. What? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, we're getting married today. <laughs> today is the day we are surrounded by loved ones and the sun is shining. I'm so excited to be your husband and can't wait to call you my wife. You are my favorite person and my best friend. Today is the first day of the rest of our lives. The best is yet to come. Love you, Jeffrey. It was serendipitous, Ooh. very connected. When I first laid eyes on you, when I was struck by your hands in this, wow, the, the only person. <laughs> your beautiful blue eyes glistened with a hint of a tear that revealed a depth of emotion that captivated me instantly. I remember thinking, 
Is he getting wispy while I'm sharing my life with him? How sexy is <laughs> I knew I was in love with you when you didn't shy away from the reality of my life. The life marked with loss and fear of getting close to anyone again. You simply held space for me. Saw me for who I truly am and embraced me without expectations. Your unwavering presence and understanding allowed me to feel safe and seen and cherished. Jeff, you are grounding, loving, sincere. My favorite moments with you are the simplest ones. Dancing in the kitchen and walking our dogs in our neighborhood while smelling flowers that are good. And snuggling at night as we gently cut my hair as I fall asleep. You have an incredible ability to tap into your emotions. And the way you get wispy is something I continually adore. I cherish your ability to be vulnerable with me. Your humor and your laughter make every day brighter. I admire your commitment to taking care of yourself, mentally, physically, and emotionally. Your journey in recovery and your dedication to walking a path aligned with your moral compass inspire me daily. You're not just a partner, you're my adventure buddy, always excited for the unknown, and my safe haven where I can rest and be myself. <laughs> Jeff, you make me feel safe, beautiful, and confident. You've been the jumpstart I needed, showing me new tools for growth, and giving me a space where I can embrace my femininity. Good back here. Goodbye, Tom <laughs> <laughs> uh, You've helped me tear down the walls around my heart and allowed me to be truly seen. <laughs> Thank you for being my grounding force, my loving partner, and my sincere confidant. Our journey together has been a serendipitous blessing, and I am so excited to continue this adventure with you on my side. <laughs> oh, baby, there's more. It's bigger, tight to be. Um, change stamps. We didn't have to change stamps. Wiggle some toes. All right, ready for the rest? Okay. Um, Jeff Bard, I commit to supporting and challenging him. I commit to investing in our relationship so that there is a surplus in kind of meat. I commit to being mindful and respectful of your need. I commit to bringing fun, adventure, excitement to our relationship. I commit to doing my best to laugh at your bad jokes. That's, 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 that's a bad joke. I, I don't know. Oh, the great! I got a couple of jokes. How do you guys like? I commit to continuing to bring my love of music into our relationship. I commit to loving you with all my heart through every twist and turn life brings us. I commit to being receptive and responsive, taming that stubborn Taurus skin. I commit to healthy communication and continuing to grow in our relationship. And I commit to you, my Jeff, my Taylor. My lucky penny, the fellow be snippings, and to congratulate and look out teach him. Yeah, we, there we go. Go down. Okay. Right. Loved ones who are absent, but much love. Welcome. This is a auspicious occasion, and we want you all to enjoy being the witness as the wedding of Chet and Rosie. Profound words are not mine, but I will read to you something that is very, very special. Written by a friend of mine who is a poet and author and an artist. He lives at the Montebello and his name is Roscoe Chantilena. It's called to to love is to share, 
to experience life together with someone, to exalt in its joys, to comfort, to solace, to ease the burden of disappointment and sorrow, to boil one up from the pits of despair and to soar with the beauty of hope, to partake of the serene formal of moments of just being together, to hear Pablo to Slocum, to know the warmth and richness of kindred minds and the unbroken bonds of understanding hearts that share that love. To love is to need someone and to be needed, knowing that no man is an island, to draw from one another the strength, the courage, the renewal to go on. For when a part of each is given, training, without reservation, question, to slow the emptiness, the void, the need of both is fulfilled, the love of two, O oh dear. Jeffrey, do you talk ransom to be the lawful or the punk, the honor, the whole, sickness and wealth, as long as you both hold it? Will you take Jeff to be your honored husband, to love him, to honor him, to list a forward, to life in your heart? I do. Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> and I announce to you and the whole wide world, Mr. and Mrs. Jeffrey Bard. <laughs> As a comedian. Yes. yes. And I have one single joke to tell you guys. Mm -hmm. There are free rings in the credit. Oh, in the wedding. Oh, 
the front, and the, the engagement ring, the wedding ring, and the suffering ring. <laughs> 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 <laughs>